Last night we slept out in the lava on this alien landscape. It was wild. As soon as we got there, pulled out in the middle of nowhere, drove on this road, this one lane road that was super rocky for a long time to get there. And then just pulled over like almost right to the end of the road. We chilled for a minute and then Aruja and I went out and walked to the ocean. And we walked for probably about a mile. And there was this big 50 foot drop from the rocks, this big cliff and these, it was a full moon and it was bright and the moon was coming up right over the horizon and the reflection all the way down from the horizon to us over the ocean, these massive waves, massive like high tide undulating dragon, like a dragon's back creep it towards us, just crashing on the rocks and just shooting up into the air. It was massive. And Aruja and I chilled there for a minute and, and, and we talked a little bit of story and it was like we tapped into our higher selves and communed for a little bit. I told him my stories about my medicine experience and journeys and lessons. And he told me different visions and dreams that he's had and his life's purpose and his name, Aruja, Ashwa, as in the source point, the unique locality in space-time that is created within this hologram that we're living in, that, you, that, that cross point that unique interference, that unique uh, manifestation point, the way it resonates is Ashwa. And that's him. Ashwa. Really neat stuff. Tapping back into the Akashic Records. And uh, he was telling me that story. And we were just highly aligned talking inter intergalactic and uh, then we came back and chilled for a little bit got down on some mushy mushy and put on the fidelity the alien step and just chilled smoked a little J took a minute and man I was staring up at the sky, laying on the top of the car with the money spot, feeling the deep bass through the car into my back, and just staring at the clouds, psychedelic, multi-layered clouds. And then this shape began to form, this face sort of grew out and it was morphing from sort of like rodent-like muskrat into like different different animal forms and it was definitely there was a presence emerging out of the clouds to greet me and to show its presence and I stared at it for a little bit in sort of in, in awe to be looking at this being that's probably like a couple hundred feet wide floating above me looking down morphing and then off on the horizon in the other direction was the top of the volcano or at least the spot there was lava flowing out so there was this ominous orange glow to the northeast and then the moon as it was rising up what now that would be maybe the southwest the moon rising up in the east, passing through the sky, and this alien, alien landscape, this melted rock, these big frozen wave patterns walking over it was crunchy. Then there were certain spots where it was just solid. There was big, huge cracks that went like five, ten feet in between 
and just pillows of pillows of rock layered over each other. Different formations, some vortexes and spirals. Some rippling effects. It was it was fantastic. We chilled there. I woke with the sun, greeted the sun, had a gr had just a, a grand time hanging out with Sebastian and Aruja, two brothers, Brotherhood of the Magi, tuning in, downloading, uploading, honoring, respecting. Life. I hope.